Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and thanks for tuning in. And today we are going to be discussing the very bizarre disappearance of Maureen Kelly, also known as Amy Kelly. Now this happened back in 2013, and it really didn't get a lot of media coverage, so that's one of the reasons I wanted to cover it, to again bring some of these cases back into the spotlight. So without any further ado, let's dive right into the case of Maureen Kelly. Maureen Kelly was born on September 26, 1993, and was 19 at the time of her disappearance. She was camping with some friends in Canyon Creek Campground in Gifford Pincho National Forest in Skamenia County, Washington. She is of Hawaiian descent, about 5'6", five, 5'7", five, and about 150 pounds. The friends had been camping, and around 5 p.m. she told them that she was going on a spiritual quest which she then proceeded to take off all her clothes and walk away so she literally only had a fanny pack on with some knives some matches and a compass when she didn't return by midnight the friends contacted the police and they began their search that was a, a ground search but they also did um, eventually cross state lines in this search she disappeared about 60 miles northeast of Portland, and according to the sheriff's um, department, she started this trip in one of the hardest areas, very steep and mountainous uh, terrain, heavy timber and brush. And we'll take a look at some of the pictures of this national forest and the actual area of where she went missing. And you'll, you'll see it's, it's very rocky, there's a bunch of streams, um, it would be hard for somebody with shoes to traverse a type of area like this and she literally only had on a blue fanny pack so even the investigators were astounded because they did end up finding footprints on the other side near um, State Route 54 and um, they it's so steep there and you can see by these pictures they just couldn't imagine somebody walking in and out of that area without any clothes, more or less shoes or anything. Now, if you can look on this map, you can see it's just all mountains, deep canyons, and it's just supposedly a very rugged, very rugged terrain. Uh, the search continued throughout the, the evening, but they had to stop the first evening because of the weather. Now, even though this was summer, it got down into the 40s, so they were very worried about her suffering hypothermia. Uh, North Forest Route 54 is right there, and that's the Canyon Creek, and they found her footprints around North Forest 54 on the other side, and after that, the trail went cold. Now, this is where I find it a little bit suspicious, because they found the footprints right near the road, and then they disappeared, and a lot of times when footprints disappear around the road, that can indicate somebody got into a vehicle or was pushed into a vehicle. And it is a little bizarre that this search started right away. Uh, the friends notified authorities, like I said, that midnight, and there was no sign of her anywhere. Now, granted, she wasn't wearing any clothes. She only had on a blue fanny pack, so they didn't have much to go on. But there is a chance that, you know, she was abducted. Um, but this case happened over seven years ago, and there's still never been a trace found. Well, it does seem odd that somebody would take off all their clothes and go into the woods to do some kind of journey like this. There was no drug use or anything like that. And Maureen was just known to be such a happy, um, upbeat person. She was always trying to spread love and happiness. She's quoted in saying as, um, happiness is the path. And it's just, um, if you see her YouTube channel, you can, I'll put a link in the description. She's has a wonderful voice and she was always singing about love and happiness and telling people that they were beautiful and you can tell she just has such a beautiful soul and beautiful spirit so it really is sad and her friend said that it wouldn't be unlike her for to do something like this to take a spiritual quest and to go out and want to be by herself and while it may sting, seem strange to a lot of people going out into the middle of nowhere naked I mean I can't imagine doing it she was just that type of a free-spirited soul and unfortunately there's not a lot of information on this case it wasn't in the media that long and which is a shame because 
know, these cases really need to remain in the spotlight so they can have attention. So hopefully we can figure out what happened to some of these people. Maureen, like I said, is about 5'6 to 5'7, dark hair, brown eyes, and is of Hawaiian descent. Very, very friendly. Um, please, if you have any information, call 509-427-9490. That's the Scaminia County Sheriff's Office. Sorry if I mispronounced that. And I will link her YouTube channel in the description. If any of you are interested, you can check that out. She really did have a lovely voice, and all of her friends and family miss her, and thoughts and prayers go out to every one of them.